<laughs> y'all i'm goofy as hell anyway um i'm still in traffic this is kiki we're gonna do another video what we're gonna talk about today down low brothers <laughs> you know who you are um but uh like share subscribe comment comment below um, I'm going to put links up to my Instagram, put links up to my stove. We're going to talk about down low men. Okay. Um, you know, it's been in the news lately, so let's talk about it. And I'm stuck I'm stuck to hell in traffic, so let's, 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 let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, in the news, if you have not seen the news, if you've not been on the internet, maybe some of y'all ain't seen it. That's cool. There is a video that is going around that was posted on social media. I think it was posted, I don't know, it was Twitter, Facebook, it's one or the other. Instagram, maybe all three she posted. It's this of this lady, this this African American woman. I think she was in uh uh Indiana or Illinois. Uh she looked like she bought in her her thirties, you know, and she did a 17 minute, yes, yeah, 17, 1 7 video about these two dudes that she was trying to out uh she said that she had went to go get herself but this dude was a friend of hers or maybe she 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 had messed around with him before apparently the only thing he did was eat the cat okay parental I I advisory because we're gonna talk about some grown folk stuff so if you're not down to hear about some grown folk stuff let me warn you before i get into this because I'm, I'm just gonna break it down for y'all how it was how it was told and I can't sure I can only sugarcoat so much and then I don't get paid for these videos so I'm not worried about demonetize demonetization because my page ain't my ain't monetized anyway so I don't give a damn um but yeah so she was doing a 17 minute video about her some dude that she messed around with or she been knowing for a while they it wasn't her boyfriend it wasn't her man her husband they he, apparently she said in the video this is her words that he had ate her cat she said another word ate her pee a uh, while ago and then she apparently hung around this dude and so she left her cell phone at his apartment or house and she went back to go get it and then when she walked in I guess maybe they didn't lock the door or whatever um, to go get her phone you know she saw it was you know the two dudes she friends with they was engaged in sex so they was on there getting it in getting it in so apparently she was so shocked and appalled that she went on Facebook or social media or something and did a 17 minute video about how what happened and 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 she was shocked and then then it get into the, she wanted to extort these men for five thousand dollars or fifty thousand or something it was it was I don't know like it was kind of hard for me to understand her because her her accent and her the way she was talking was so fast that I couldn't really understand so she was trying to extort these men talking about if you don't give me no money i'm gonna get on here and expose you so i guess the dude say no and i guess that's why she made a 17 minute video exposing okay so apparently these dudes saw the saw the video or by then probably their family and friends have been like oh we this girl didn't posted this video about you know whatever whatever and then apparently they found this woman driving down the street because they was in a kind of a smallest town and everybody knew everybody else in the neighborhood. And while she was driving, they shot her and killed her. And then uh, while she was driving and her car hit another car. And I don't know what happened to that man that was in the other car because he tore his car up. But she apparently got shot and killed and died in her car while she was driving. They just bra bra on her ass when she was driving. So the video then went viral. A lot of people been talking about it, whatever, whatever, whatever. And, you know, a lot of women especially, you know, had a lot of things to say on a lot of uh, YouTube and Instagram things. But, you know, what to say about some people express sympathy, which I agree, you know, nobody deserves to get their life lost. And then a lot of the trans and the gay community, which I subscribe to, has had their own opinions. And, and again, they agree that nobody should lo lo lose their life. Um, I'm a big fan of T.S. Madison. Uh, that's my girl. T.S. Madison, if you don't know, she is a trans superstar. Um, she's she's pretty well known in, in uh, the trans circle. She has her own YouTube. She's been on TV shows. She's you know, done Elbows, 
hobnob with celebrities. That's my girl T.S. Madison. And she basically came out. She she hosts something called the Queen's Supreme Court. And um, she basically, you know, did a, a segment on the Queen's Supreme Court where they talk about, like, breaking news and, and events. And then she also did one of her car chats, which that's, that's my girl. She did her car chats. I do my car chats. But she do her car chats, and she was basically saying, you know, uh, that this happens to trans women all the time. Trans women and gay men get beat up. They get, they get killed. They're, they get missing. This has been going on, I mean, since the dawn of time. Sometimes it's not about them getting on social media or talking or exposing the dude. Sometimes it's just, you know their girlfriend or wife or family member or friend or something may catch them with the gay guy or the transgender female transgender woman and they and then they get caught and they're like oh my god gasp i didn't know that that was a woman which which any straight woman that believe that shit i'm gonna tell you right now you on that bullshit there's no way in hell okay i used to be one of these people that thought maybe that was true but as I got to know more of about trans, trans attractive men and the trans community, I'm telling you, there's no way in hell that any man is going to be significantly involved with a trans woman and not know that that trans woman, most of them do have the man parts. Yes, there are some that have had surgery and have had lady parts, which to me, if you go and get surgery and hormones and get lady parts, then to me, you a lady. You are all female, okay? You may not be able to have no kids, but there's some females that can't have no kids either through just whatever or don't want no kids. But there, are most of the trans women, the average everyday women, not the famous celebrities, not the Caitlyn Jenners, not the T.S. Madisons or the RuPaul's, most of the trans women out here, normal women, they do not have the money to go get gender reassignment surgery. So... Uh, so most of them look like women they take the hormones but they still have a penis so these straight men who get caught by their wives or girlfriends or parents or whoever out with these trans women and sit there and say oh well I didn't know it was a man oh my goodness gasp cry me a fucking river like are you kidding me that's a lie they know damn well that 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 what in who these trans women are they always cry oh i got tricked oh i got tricked you got tricked all right meant meaning that you was giving this dude your money that's the only tricking i be seeing i be seeing they be tricking off on that money but i that the fact that you get tricked by a trans woman and, and you ain't never touched it okay you ain't never touched this woman you ain't never touched this it, it felt that they had titties and a dick come on now Y'all need to stop believing these men. They just saying that shit because they don't want to admit that they are attracted to trans women. So with that said, um, there have been gay men and trans women who have tried to out um, men as well on social media or out to their family and friends or girlfriend or send somebody a message on the slide. So, some of these women got beat up. Some of these some of these gay dudes got got dealt with. They they mysteriously disappeared, got shot, you know, what it what it whatever, 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 whatever. And then it don't get any attention. Any 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 attention rarely at all. Like you know, nobody really cares that that you know some trans woman then lost her life. Um we gonna stop here. I'm almost home, so you know, nobody really cares a lot of time. You, you don't see an outcry of too much sympathy because most people are like, oh, well, they got set up and that's what they get and da-da-da-da. And it's, it's, it's asinine. The point is, is that no matter if you are straight or gay or trans, you don't mess around with men who are on the down low, period. The, the trans women have learned that over the years, that, that a, a, a man who is confused about his sexuality or hiding his sexuality or, or d dip and dab a little bit. Sometimes they not even gay. They don't even consider themselves as gay. I know that's a shock to a lot of people. Like, but, but the truth of the matter is. There are a lot of men out here. Who troll for men. I'm going to tell y'all. There's a spot in Dallas. I won't say where. 
White Rock Lake. But there's a spot. There's a there's a uh, 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 and off of White White Rock Lake. A lot of these parks and these lakes late at night have have men supposedly quote unquote straight men trolling for um for 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 gay men whether it to be oral sex sex I, I i don't know whatever but they pay these men these probably these male prostitutes are at different and they're at different locations not just white but it was a big thing when i was a kid i don't know if they're white white rock lake anymore but it was a big thing as a kid um that we would hear about the 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 the, the uh gay men prostitutes who were at White Rock Lake late at night. It was like a joke, you know, when I was uh, in my late teens. It was like, don't go to White Rock Lake late at night because you gonna get, you you know, if you're a dude, you're going to get caught up, you know. So it was kind of like a joke. But then I found out years later that it was real. Like, it wasn't just some rumor. It was it was, it was true. So, like, people, T.S. T. S. Madison said, there's nothing more dangerous than a man. Um, and like I said, I should say man because it's really black men. Um, who are on deal. I don't understand that phenomenon. I have never been with a man who that I knew of was, was down low. But then again, I am an open person sexually. I'm not one of these people that, that's going to be like, ooh, I'm going to judge you. And I, I'm not religious. I, I, I'm not I, I'm not religious. So I'm not one to cast dispersions on somebody because of what they like in the bedroom. Like, I... I be it for me to ever 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 <laughs> let me take my glasses off ever cast any kind of dis any kind of dispersions on anybody who is a freak okay because you know I, I i i look i don't judge nobody and i say let your freak flag fly let's let you let you be you okay um me, myself, I am really outside any kind of community. I'm my own entity. I am my own self. I am my own thing. Because um, I don't run around in social social circles. I don't... I'm so busy. I mean, I, I, I work. I go to school. I run a business. I work a job. I have children. I don't have time to really be like, okay, socializing. I have a few friends. Um, I have like two or three friends like you know black female friends you know of course i have black relatives I'm, I'm a black person but i don't you know i don't fuck with many people i stick to myself you know and, and it has worked out because it's less, less drama i tell people you know you don't need to have when i was younger i had a huge social circle but i was in my 20s you know now i'm older ish that i don't really need that anymore like my my I'm so busy and my family really keeps me fulfilled and in, in everything that I really need to do in my social circle. You know, I got, I got a man, my boyfriend, you know, like, you know, and, and it's like, we go out and we hang out, but as quote unquote, whatever the black community is supposed to be, I, I have a problem with that term, but that's for another time, another video as to what the black community is. I don't live in a black neighborhood. I'm not a social person, period. Even if I did live in an all black neighborhood, let's just say. My social circle would still be tight because I don't trust. I don't get people that level of trust in my life. I'm very, believe it or not, I'm very shy. I'm very introverted. I'm not an outgoing person. People don't fuck with me. I, you know, people don't, you know, I'm going to do another video about that, about people I hear people, you know, people, all oh, these people come touch, touch my hair and ask me these questions and I child, please don't, they, 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 they ain't nobody never come up to me and said nothing or act like they want to test mine i don't i maybe because the aura i've I told you the aura that i give off is is like you know don't fuck with me aura so which i thank god every day for that i've I, i've learned i've cultivated that not by on purpose but by accident but dl men yes it, it's a dangerous thing and this lady got killed and shot because she she should have just minded her own damn business and left those men alone that dude, I mean, I can understand if you you married to some dude, you got kids by him, and then you've been with this dude, and you find out he's living a lie, and then, you, okay, then I can understand you getting mad and wanting to go on the internet. Then I understand that that man wasn't even her man. He wasn't her boyfriend. He wasn't nothing. She wasn't even messing around physically with this man. She just was being messy. I mean, let's just, let's just call it what it was. She was being messy. She She was being messy. 
That's what that was. She was cloud chasing and trying to get messy. You trying to be messy and cloud chasing will get you caught up. Period. I mean, period. You know, there are certain th especially when she knew the dudes that she was, she was fucking with. You fucking with some hood niggas, some goons. It'd be like me getting on the internet and me, me got some friends dealing drugs and me just being like, oh yeah, they out here, they out here whoop de whoop selling drugs and doing. All why, why, why would I, I, I put my death sentence out there? Like, why would I even do that to, to somebody? First of all, I, 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 I like to live. I, I, I really like to live. Second of all, I ain't no snitch. You know what I'm saying? I mind my business. I don't care. If I walk in on, 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 on a dude, I don't care if I walk in my man and have an orgy with six men, which would never happen. <laughs> my man is very straight. But if that happened, I'm just going to close the door and back. I'm going to look. I'm going to look again. You know, I'll be like, oh, okay. You know, and then I, I can't get in there. Oh, okay. I can't. Oh, okay. And then I'm just going to kind of kind of close the door and slowly but surely ease on out that motherfucker. And then I nothing will be said. I, I, you know, I, I want to end a relationship. I can end a relationship. But again, sh this is a woman that was not in a relationship with either one of these men. She was just being messy. And being messy will get you caught up anytime you want to snitch on somebody about anything that somebody's doing. And, you know, you messing around with kind of dudes you messing around with. You know, if it's an average square-ass dude, you can do that. You can't fuck with no goons like that. You can't be, you can't be in the hood divulging secrets, you know. So, you know, I'm not saying she deserved to get killed. Nobody do. But the point is, when you put a target on your forehead, I, like, like I said, who won't get on video and be like, yeah, Pookie and Rabbit over there selling street on the corner of 15th. You know, who won't, who won't get on the internet? Who be dumb enough to say some shit like that? But I'm, I guarantee you, she was comfortable in outing these dudes and saying what she said because she thought these dudes were some punks. I'm, I'm telling you, some of that is part of that. Number one, she wanted to extort, extort them for some money. Number two, she got, fucked, she got, it, she got the game twisted. Just because these dudes like to, to do dudes don't mean they, they, they still ain't some hardcore ass niggas. Like, period. And then and then another thing that somebody brought up, T.S. Madison brought up, how we even know this chick was telling the truth? How we know something else didn't go down, like a bad drug deal or they rejected her? How we even know she was, we just automatically take her word for it. Why? Because she's a straight female? I mean, how we know she wasn't lying? She could have just got on there and said that. Just, just to make up shit, just to try to get some monies out of these dudes. We don't even know what she said was even correct or not. So some more information gonna have to come out for me to even believe that these dudes was doing what they was supposedly doing. You know, we don't even at this particular point. I don't even know if if, if these dudes are even in custody. Of David shot her. I have to go back and see about updates and look at the story. But everybody's just taking a word for it. Like, okay, they was really doing what she was saying. She could have made it all that shit up. She could have been on some vendetta shit. That dude could have been like, I don't want to be with you. And then she just decided to stunt and do the most. I didn't see people lie on people talking about people was gay or bi or, or they was having sex with men and women. And then it was all a lie. You know, they was just trying to get back at somebody on some petty shit. So, again, I don't even, you know, take take her word for it because we don't even know it's the truth. So that's the other issue. The other issue is, is that people are like, well, all these down low men, first of all, I I think the whole down low men thing is just is blown out of proportion because of social media. Um, there are a whole bunch of straight men out there. There are a whole bunch of, but then there are men that are bisexual. But people talking about, then I read people talk about diseases. I'm like, the fuck? I said, okay, wait a minute. So only gay dudes have AIDS. Only gay dudes have STDs. Y'all trifling chicks want to run around and having sex with this dude and this dude and this dude and ain't got no one protection. Another thing I called out hypocrites, when's the last time y'all been tested? So because a guy's straight, he, he not shooting up drugs, he may not have hepatitis, he may not have herpes. Y'all do know that STDs are amongst straight black people is like skyrocketed over the past couple of years has nothing to do with being on the down low. If you're going to get something, you're going to get something. I mean, that, you know, you can get AIDS, but but there's other things out there just besides AIDS and all these people sleeping around with all these other people, straight people. Like, and then you talk about where they have STDs. Honey, sweetie, you don't even know if you have an STD, okay? I, I go get tested. I've had one partner for a while now. And still, though, every year I get a, I get a, a, you know, I get my pap, pap smear, my mammogram. I do all that, and then I also get a full blood workup. 
to see if I have any kind of bacterial diseases, anything every year. Everybody should go and do it every year. If you got one partner, even if you've been with the, married to the same person or the same chick forever, you still need to go get tested. You don't know what they are doing. I mean, you just can't trust these people no more. You don't know what they are doing. So with your yearly physical, you need to go get tested as well. Do not think just because, you know, you are straight or just because the last time you you didn't had intercourse was five years ago where you could have something you could have hepatitis herpes anything can linger not everything is dramatic what you see in the movies or read on the internet there's things that can lie dormant in your body in your system for years and you don't know like like you don't know herpes herpes genital herpes genital warts all of that is an std and it could come and go or sometimes it'll just lie dormant in your body but it is but you can pass it whenever you have some kind of flare-up so people just don't know and just think that because you straight you protected and how many women out there have are having sex with men meeting these men on the internet and tinder and you barely even know these dude and you ain't using no protection and you think because the dude is not ejaculating inside of you that somehow that's protecting you or because you're not pregnant and that's okay no, boo-boo, honey, you need to go get tested as well. So stop just throwing it out at the gay community to download men when everybody should be getting tested. Anybody could have anything at any time. You don't know the person that you're with. And like I said, just 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 because, you know, that's 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 yo yo cat or yo wood don't mean it's not community wood or community cat. Because honestly, the way people are today and the way cheating is going around. You, you you don't know who doing who or what doing where or what. Uh, nobody really knows. You know, the person that you think you trust, you don't know if that person, you can't, you ain't with that person 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I mean, most people aren't. You have to go to work. They have to go to work. You don't really know. So people should just go get tested anyway. And the download thing, people are like, well, they shouldn't be lying and deceiving. They should be out. Yeah, they should be out, be free to do whatever they want to do. But it's so hard the way the how stupid people are these days in the black community about being gay it's like okay well we want you to be out but then we're gonna bash you and out you and slam you and then talk bad about you or ostracize you kick you out the church kick you out your mama's house kick kick you out the family we're gonna ostracize you because you gay so we want you to we, we don't want you to be a down low brother but then we don't want you to be out and be gay and proud either like you can't have it both ways People should be able to live their truth and not feel like they're going to lose their life or their family or their kids or whatever, you know, that, that they're not going to be ostracized and, and, and have people hating on them in their own community, in their own neighborhoods, or feel unsafe or feel like they're going to get beat up by their friends or lose their best friends just because they come out as being gay. And then sometimes, like I said, some people are not gay. Sometimes people are bisexual. They like men and they like women. And they should be able to live what live that truth as well. Live whatever truth you want to live. You know, I I, I don't understand that people should be able to live how they want to live truthfully and they should be able to be truthful to other people. And um if they like men and women, they like men and women. If you if you're a man and you like just men or you like trans women and you like women you should be able to freely come out and say that. But then once you come out and say that, then you have people who are just like, okay, well, I'm not going to fuck with you now. Because, I, you know, like, th that's a risk that a person has to take on their end to live their truth. Because I'd rather be truthful and just have people just not fuck with me than lie and then have people fuck with me. But then knowing on, on, on the cool that, that they really probably wouldn't like my full self. Um, like I said, I'm a straight female. I don't have any trans people in my family. I, I, you know, my kids aren't gay that I know of. They're young. I don't have any gay brothers and sisters. I don't have any. I don't. I wasn't raised with with my brothers. Um, I, I've never had a transgendered friend. I've had gay female friends. I've had gay male friends. Um, but you know, I've always let people just be who they are. So I tell people, just let people be. And then you won't have to worry about anybody getting killed or shot or you going to the extreme of shooting and killing somebody just because of sexual orientation. So that's my feeling about that. And people, straight people, and especially straight women, need to stop fighting over dick like it's like it's the penis hunger games. Like all these men, all these men are gay, honey. There's there's straight, there's there's straight men out there. If you can't find a good straight man, then 
you know what, you maybe you need to reevaluate yourself and your dating scene. And maybe sometimes you just need to find yourself and concentrate on yourself and getting your life and getting your kids or and getting your life together. Life is not all about having a partner or having a man. I got to have a man. I got to have a man. I think black women are obsessed with having a man. I mean, I my dad, I didn't have my parents in my life. I didn't have my dad around. I'm not like, ooh, you know, I'm going to just do the most for a dick. It's Hunger Games. Like I'm gonna, I'm just going to go out here and just doing the most for the dick. Doing the most for a man. I got to keep, I got to move a man in my house and stop that shit. You know, like, just find yourself, do you, uh, and and just live, 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 live the life that you're supposed to live and realize that you can be by yourself and it's okay. You, you, you don't have to be in a relationship. You don't have to have that especially if you have children my kids are my number one focus i have a boyfriend um i love my man dearly but at the end of the day you know my kids are are you know my man is loving my life you know partner wise but my kid my kids are truly the love the love of my life like you know i'm not putting no man above my children i don't give a damn who you are you can go pound rocks i'm not putting no man or any man, what they want or what they say or what they do above my children. Period. I gave birth to my kids. I put them in this world. I can take them out. You know? But I love my children. You know, my children are my number one priority in my life. And, you know, stepdaddies. I don't do stepdaddies. I don't do cohabitation with no man. I live by myself. I pay my own bills. I don't have to worry about my car is in some some dude's name. My house is in some dude's name. My bills are in some dude's name. I don't worry about it. My I I I have, I, I I got cars with an S. I have a house. I pay my bills. Everything's my in in my own name. I ain't, I ain't got to live with no man to survive. I don't have no I don't need no man to take care of my kids. I take care of my kids just well. I pay for everything for my children. I don't I don't need anybody. I, if, if I if if a man shows up, then I want a man. I want my boyfriend. Do I need my boyfriend to survive? No. Do I want my boyfriend in my life? Yes. Does he enhance my life? Yes. Any man in my life has to add to my life and not take away from it. And then, you know, does my boyfriend leave me time and energy and freedom to be the independent? I'm a very independent person. Yes. I don't have to worry about my man trying to tell me what to do, trying to be my daddy. I don't need no daddy. I I I I, I got it. I'm grown. I'm grown ass woman. So you know the idea that like we doing the most for men and we got to make sure this man isn't this man ain't gay. You know what I'm saying? He may not be gay. He may just be a freak. You know I tell black women y'all need to open your minds a little bit. That's another video I'm gonna do about how repressed a lot of black women are. Like black women are 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 over sexualized in media and then they're half naked and doing all this stuff but when it comes to like really like doing the do or being open-minded or being in tune with themselves sexually and physically about what they like what they don't like in sex a lot of times i find a lot, a lot of black women it's about appeasing a man it's about well he likes this and he likes that well honey what do you like oh well i don't really know well i don't really do that or i don't really do this like black women are very sexually repressed and like I said to be have an image of such an over sexualization which I don't agree with but then black women are real prudish like they you know I I, I I don't fall in that category of being prudish like you know I think everyone should be aware of their own sexual needs and their own desires and what they like and what they don't like and nobody should be judged for it as long as you're not breaking the laws, like you're not hurting nobody, you know, no kids, these are consenting adults, then yeah, but I think that a lot of people are very sexually repressed. And I, I, I think that that has not been very good for the black community as a whole. So, but we'll talk about that in another video. But I got to get home to my family. So, y'all, like, sh subscribe, share, comment share your opinion, whatever, you know, and tune in for the next videos that I'm going to make. I don't know if it's going to be today or tomorrow, but sometime soon. I try not to stay a stranger, but y'all have a great evening. Peace.